In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Good morning. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and the so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, our living God, look with the compassion on our weakness and ensure us your protection by stretching forth the right hand of your majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, thus says the Lord, If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and a malicious speech, if you bestow your breath on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. Then the Lord will guide you always and give you plenty even on the parched land. He will renew your strength, and you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring whose water never fails. The ancient ruin shall be rebuilt for your sake, and the foundations from ages past you shall raise up. Repairer of the breach, they shall call you restorer of ruined homesteads. If you hold back your foot on the Sabbath, from following your own pursuits on my holy day. If you call the Sabbath a delight and the Lord's holy day honorable, if you honor it by not following your ways, seeking your own interests, or speaking with malice, then you shall delight in the Lord, and I will make you right on the heights of the earth, and I will nourish you with the heritage of Jacob your father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Incline your ear, O Lord, answer me, for I am afflicted and poor. Keep my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for to you I call all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my pleading. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of Glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of Glory. I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked man, says the Lord, but rather in his conversion that he may live. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of Glory. Almighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips that I may worship you proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the holy gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And leaving everything behind, he got up and followed him. The Levi gave a great banquet for him in his house, and a large crowd of tax collectors and others were at the table with them. The Pharisees and their scribes complained to his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with the tax collectors and sinners? Jesus said to them in reply, Those who are healthy do not need a physician, but the sick do. I have not come to call the righteous, but repentance. I have not come to call the righteous to repentance, but the sinners. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel be to the person's sake. In today's gospel, Saint Luke describes the call of Saint Matthew to become a disciple and apostle of Christ. Matthew was not a likely candidate to become a disciple of Jesus or his apostle because he was a tax collector. And tax collectors in those days were hated by the Jewish community because they were the Roman agents who collected the taxes for them and often they charged people over and above the required amount. And that is why tax collectors were hated and they were considered as public sinners. So what did Jesus see in Matthew which others could not see? Like a compass which always looked toward north, Matthew's heart also was looking or yearning for God. No one could see it. But Jesus, as a divine physician, was able to read his heart and knew that he was also a son of Abraham. He was also yearning for God. When the Jewish authorities, scribes and Pharisees, complained to the disciples about Jesus for eating with the public sinners, because Matthew, after the call he received, gave a great dinner to Jesus and his disciples and also uh, others. And many tax collectors also joined the dinner. And that is why the Pharisees and the scribes complained about Jesus' unorthodox behavior. So in his defense, Jesus told them, People who are healthy do not need a doctor, but the sick people do. Jesus came into this world as a divine physician. He came to call sinners, not the righteous. And Matthew also is a son of God, a son of Abraham. And he also needs God's grace and mercy, just like anyone else. In fact, the scribes and the Pharisees and the Jewish authorities, they also needed God's grace and mercy because they were also sinners, even though they pretend to be righteous people. In fact, they were all sinners and needed God's mercy and forgiveness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. As we stand before the Lord, let us place our needs, our prayers before Him and ask for His blessing. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, religious and laity, that they may always follow Jesus, listen to His teachings faithfully, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for peace throughout the world, in our own homes, in our homeland, and also in all those places torn by war and violence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also pray for people who are homeless and hungry, that they may find shelter and food during this cold winter season, especially through the generosity of good people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us keep in silence our own intentions and also the intention of this Mass. This Mass is being offered for those who are poor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers of your faithful people. Bless us and help us to follow you and imitate your love and the goodness in our hearts. We ask this through Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer ye fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this mark and wine may we come to share. In the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are ye, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer ye through the thine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With a humble spirit and a contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day. Be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, to the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise and grant that, cleansed by its working, we may offer minds well pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always you send everywhere we give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with the countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise Sophie, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the way in teaching, we are there to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. receiving of you, you, your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, offering you the judgment and the condemnation for the good you are doing mercy before me, protecting mind and body and healing for many. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only you say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the birth of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, now permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The communion song, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, says the Lord, for I did not come to call the just, but the sinners. Let us pray. Nourished with the gift of heavenly life, we pray, O Lord, that what remains for us a mystery in this present life may be for us a help to reach eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Abide graciously, O Lord, with your disciples who have touched the sacred mysteries that no dangers may bring affliction to those who trust in you, their protector, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended now. Let us go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. For our recessional, we will sing, Jesus, Remember Me. Jesus, remember me.